Hey everybody, welcome back to Brainiac Baseball's 1970 Seattle Pilots What If Scenario. Today's matchup is between the New York Yankees and the Seattle Pilots at Brainiac Stadium. On the mound for the Yankees today is Al Downing, whose record is 7-5 with a 3.19 ERA. And pitching for the Pilots is John Gelnar, whose record is 1-4 with a 6.03 ERA. Okay, we finished up the uh, Tigers series with a nice little victory yesterday, 4-2. to two. Uh, Over the Yanks, Jerry Stevenson pitched pretty good. Uh, his best start of the year. Um, we put up four runs, and that was more than enough to get the victory. It isn't very often that we can say that, where we, <laughs> we can get away with a win with only scoring four. Uh, so we'll take the victory. We hop on a plane. We head back home to Seattle. And the Yankees are waiting for us. This is the first time we faced the Yankees this year. Uh, we'll look at the standings real quick. And you'll see the Yankees are on an eight-game winning streak. They've won nine out of the last ten. They're not a great hitting team, uh, nor do they have a lot of power. But, I mean, Yankee Stadium in this era is not um, conducive to hitting a lot of home runs. Uh, it is a pitcher's park, and they do lead the American League in ERA uh, right now. So that's going to be the tough part is uh, getting over on their pitching. We will be facing the number three, four, and five starters in their rotation. Um, and uh, that gives us maybe a little bit of an edge. We'll see. Um, before we get started with today's ball game, just a quick reminder that uh, after tomorrow's game, uh, it is the last game of the month, and we will have our standings and league leaders video, uh, which we will also take it some time and look at the amateur draft. Um, so we'll see who's available in the draft and maybe try to project who might be there for us um, since we have the next to last pick uh, in that draft. So stay tuned for that tomorrow after the ball game in a separate video. We're going to do that. Okay. Okay. Let's go ahead and get started with today's ball game. As always, I appreciate everyone following along. Like and or subscribe to the channel. Smoosh that like button for me. I appreciate that. Okay, we've got John Gelnar starting. Um, only 17 plate appearances against the Yankees, uh, which are batting two fitty. So, I mean, not a lot to go on there. All the bullpen is available today. Uh, just as a side note, uh, Bruce Brubaker is on a uh, rehab assignment in AAA. So, He'll be back in nine days. And then here's our lineup versus Al Downing. Downing is a left-hander, of course. And Tommy Ag is listed as tired. But because he hits lefties so well, we're going to let him play today. Hopefully he won't get injured. And then we'll uh, rest him tomorrow. Uh, everybody else is uh, the normal player versus uh, a left-hander. Matty Sangian, by the way, if you look at batting versus lefties, I mean, the bottom third of our lineup is not great. Pepitone, Rollins, and Sangian all batting well under 200. Okay, let's go ahead and do the lineup rundown for the New York Yankees batting leadoff. Playing third base is Jerry Kenny. Batting second in right field is Ron Blumberg. Batting third and catching is Thurman Thomas. Batting cleanup, playing first base is Tony Soleda. Batting fifth in left field is Bobby Mercer. Batting sixth in center field is Jim Lytle. Batting seventh at second base is Mike Andrews. Batting eighth at shortstop is Frank Baker. And batting ninth is the pitcher, Al Downing. Okay, we'll take a look here at John Gelnar. He is making his eighth start as a pilot starter. He's 1-4 with a 6.03 ERA, 17 strikeouts in 37 and a third innings pitch. Opponents are batting 295 against him. Fastball topping out at 90 miles an hour. Ground ball percentage is 45%. He's only got one good pitch. That's the fastball, just above league average. Overall rated a 75. The 26-year-old righty is arbitration eligible at the end of the 19. 71 season. Now last year he gave up 10 home runs in 95 innings. This year he's given up 9 home runs 
in 37 and a third innings. In fact, he's given up almost as many home runs as he's given up walks. So uh, he is prone to giving up the long ball. We'll take a look at his log. He's coming off uh, a start versus Oak Town, in which he gave up five runs. I'm sorry, with five innings, he gave up three runs on five hits. Only walked one. Actually, that might be about his best performance. So, uh, good job by him. See if he can't keep that momentum going. Let's uh, go ahead and take a look at our defense today. It's spotty at best. Uh, we've got Sutherland at second because he hits lefty so well. And, of course, Devannon up the middle at short. Right field is Bill Robb. He's not so good. And behind the plate is Manny Sanguin, who's having a good season defensively. And we shouldn't really knock Bill Robb either. He's got three outfield assists. So pretty solid uh, in right field despite being a tick below league average. Okay, Jerry Kenny, left-handed third baseman leading off versus John Gelnar. Here we go. Kenny with a ground ball to first, and Darren Johnson will make the play. One down for Ron Blumberg. Blumberg, of course, famous for being the first designated history hitter in the history of baseball. He hits a grounder to Sutherland. Two quick outs. And let me ask you a question. So this is um, Thurman Munson's rookie card, right? Uh, I can buy a really bad version, uh, not bad version, a uh, very poor conditioned version of this card for $8. I've been sitting on it for such a long time. It's in really bad shape, but I've never owned the Thurman Munson rookie card. I kind of want to have it in my collection. And I really can't afford to spend, you know, the $125 or more that it would cost me to get um, the good quality version of that. So... I don't know. Uh, I, I don't know. Is it worth eight bucks? I'm not sure. Because of the condition only. I'm stuck on that right now in my own head. Let's go and take a look at our lineup. <clears throat> Batting leadoff, playing shortstop is Jerry Devannon. Batting second. At second base is Gary Sutherland. Batting third at first base is Darren Johnson. Batting cleanup in right field is Bill Robinson. Batting fifth in center field is Tommy Ag. Batting sixth in left field is Joe Pepitone. Batting seventh at third base is Rich Rollins. Batting eighth is the catcher, Andy Sangian. And batting ninth is the pitcher, John Gelnar. Okay, Al Downing, he is on quite a streak right now. We'll just look at his log first and foremost. Look at this, folks. He's won four in a row, five out of six. This is a complete game shutout, but it was more than that. It was a no-hitter just two starts ago, uh, eight days ago, against the Angels. He threw the first no-hitter, I believe it was, of our uh, current sim season. He comes back against the Senators, goes seven and two-thirds, giving up three runs and five hits, and strikes out ten. So he's on quite a run right now. He's making his 14th start of the year. 7-5 with a 3-19 ERA. 72 strikeouts in 96 innings pitched. Opponents are betting 229 against him. Uh, he's got three complete games and two shutouts already this year. Fastball topping out at 89 miles an hour. Ground ball percentage is 44.7%. He's got an elite fastball rated a 90 and a slider rated an 82. So two very good pitchers, pitches. Overall rated an 85. The 28-year-old lefty is a free agent at the end of the 1974 season. You'll see him represented on his Oakland A's card in the 1970 season. That is the correct team for him. All right. We got our uh, work cut out for us today. Good defense for the Yankees at every position, but second base, they got Mike Andrews over there. He's rated a 77, the same as Sutherland, but this might be one of the better outfields in the American League when it comes to arm strength. Certainly between um, Mercer and Lytle. I don't think Blomberg is probably, uh, what's his arm strength? Let's just find out. Oh, it's an 88. That's probably the best of the three. 
And yet he was a DH all that all those years. Okay. Yeah, we're in trouble. And then their catcher is Thurman Munson. He's got an 84 rating. Yeah, this is going to be a, this be a tough game for us. Let's see. We've got Jerry Devannon leading off versus Al Downing. Devannon has been on a nice streak lately, betting 300. Still does not have a home run this year. Flying out to left center field. One down. Here's Gary Sutherland. He's crushing lefty. He's batting 377. Slow roller to first. Tony Soleda will make the play. Two quick outs for Darren Johnson and a ground ball to first. So a one, two, three inning for both pitchers. We go to the top of the second. No score. Here's Tony Soleda. Rookie card was 1975, so he wasn't even in major leagues until 74. And he promptly leads off the inning. Swinging at the first pitch with a base hit in the center field. Runner on first base for Bobby Mercer. 1-2 count to Mercer. Into the gap in left center field. Good hustle from Pepitone. For out number two. I'm sorry, that's out number one. Here's the center fielder, Jim Lytle. He's got nine home runs this year. Striking out, swinging. That is the first K for Gelnar. That'll leave it up to Mike Andrews to get a two-out rally going. Ground ball to third. Rollins up with it. And pegs him at first. No score going to the bottom of the second with Bill Robb leading off. Bill Robb, as we're getting ready to do the uh, leaders, still in the top ten in home runs. And RBI striking out looking. First K for Downing. Tommy A.G., as I mentioned, listed as tired. I don't know what we're going to get from him today. Comes with a comebacker to Downing for out number two. And Joey Pep, lefty on lefty violence, will pop it up. Yeah, so we're through two. No score. Pilots have yet to get a hit. Frank Baker, the shortstop, will lead it off. Full count. Just off the plate, but Baker puts the bat to it. Ground ball to short. That's going to bring up Al Downing, a pretty damn good hitter, I believe, in his time. He's got two career home runs. Three. <laughs> what? He has eight hits already this year? And three doubles. Wow. All right, we cannot mess around with this guy. Skies it in the left field. Pepitone tracking it down. Two outs. And we're back to Jerry Kenny. Who pops it up on the infield to Devannon. He's calling for it. And a one, two, three inning. We go to the bottom of the third. Here's Rich Rowell. Now Rollins has had good success. He's six for eleven with a home run against Downing. Pulls it down the third baseline for a base hit. Will not try to stretch it into a double. That's our first hit, and we've got the leadoff man on. I'm digging that because we got the hit and run on with Sanguian's got the 97 contact. 1-1 one, one count, and he pops it up. Damn it. Caught uh, in foul ground by the first baseman, Soleda. Well, we're going to try to drop a butt down with John Gelnar. He's two for nine on the year. That's a nice bunt to first. Rollins does get over. So we've got a runner in scoring position for the first time with Jerry Devan in a full count, and he walks. Well, this is the guy you want up. You want Gary Sutherland in the spot. Not really an RBI guy, but he does usually come through against left-handers. First pitch swinging, and a ground ball snagged by the second baseman, Andrews. And we remain scoreless, headed to the top of the fourth.
Here's Ron Blumberg, a leading off. Does his TPS reports and gets a base hit. Leadoff man is on once again. And then a double down the line for Munson. Will the score run? No, it actually holds Blumberg at third, and Munson holds is held to a single. Well, we got a... No, you know what? We're going to play back. We'll give up a run for a potential double play. Um, Soleda has got no speed, and the catcher's on first. So, you know what? Let's just play smart baseball. Well, didn't matter. One nothing either way. <laughs> um, excuse me. Okay, we've got a, a runner on first with one down. Bobby Mercer. Batting only 234 with eight home runs. One two count. That was a ground ball to first. This could be two. It is a double play. I mean, they were going to get that run either way, right? I mean, we tried to be smart about it. And we did hold them to just one run. So uh, I think that is maybe to our advantage. Okay, we go to Bob in the fourth. Here is Darren Johnson. There's no way they're going to get through these tough guys in our lineup a second time. Darren Johnson leads off with a home run. That's what I want. Now we'll hit and run with Bill Robb. An okay contact hitter. Above league average. Got to stay out of the double play with Johnson in first. Oh, the air, so you put it in play. Something good might happen. The shortstop, uh, Frank Baker, boots it. Everybody's safe. And now Tommy Agee, who's batting 298, comes up to the plate. First pitch swinging. A looper, get down. It's going to carry deep enough. To be caught. Well, that would have been our best shot because Joe Pepitone, it will very likely hit into a double play here. There's nothing you can do about it. Nope, pop it up. We might not get that one run today. Pepitone pops up to short, and Rollins, we got to be more patient at the plate. Everybody's swinging at the first pitch. We strand the two uh, <coughs> runners. Pardon me. Still getting over my little bit of a cold. Top of the fifth inning. Gelnar is only at 42 pitches. Now this is typically where he falls apart though. Jim Lytle. Flying out to center. Mike Andrews. Ground ball to first. One thing you could say about John Gelnar, he, is, he does not walk many. You may have noticed when we were looking at his log. He doesn't walk more than one per game. Oh, there's a gapper for Frank Baker. Agee ch um, chases it down. 11 doubles for Frank Baker on the year. That's almost twice as much as anybody in our team. And then the pitcher, Downing, strikes out looking. Good job. A very good performance for Gelnar. I guess we... It's coming up next. It's going to depend on what um, Sanguian does. If Sanguian gets on versus Downing, we might have to pinch hit him. Yep. All right, well, we'll let him take a cut. That was a mistake. So Gelnar strikes out. Only two Ks for Downing after that 10K performance. And then Devannon rounds out. We are in peak Downing mode right now, man. Four in a row. And that no-hitter. We go to the top of the six, one to nothing. I'm actually drinking a little bit of whiskey. It's the cheap stuff. That's, you can tell by my liver flip-flopping in my body. Ugh. All right. Jerry Kenny. There's the one. Oh, no. I thought that was going to be the one walk as Kenny worked into a 3-1 count. 
He's doing so well versus the left-handers. I can't imagine this is going to last much longer. Another ground ball in the hole. Devanning's doing a good job at short. Two down. This has got to be the last inning, I think, for Gelnar. If he gives a six. Oh, but he's hitting the center. Oh, do we risk the biscuit? Got three lefties coming up. We're going to guard the lines and see how it goes here with Soleda. Full count. And he pulls it into right field for a base hit. Munson goes to third, and we will take out Gelnar now. Gelnar coming out. Ron Locke coming in. It's time to lock it down with Ron Locke. You'll see that he's... I don't, I don't like the walk to strikeout ratio, but he's done well. Look at his sprints. Look at that, 212 each. I, I don't know if I should feel good about that or not. But Bobby Mercer batting 246 as a lefty versus lefties. 2-2 two -two count, and he pops it up. The van in. Make it a catch. Okay, well... We did what we had to do. One nothing Yankees. Bottom of the six. Here's Gary Sutherland. Round ball at the middle. Sutherland looking like a joker today versus Downing. In fact, yeah, he went 0 for 5 versus um, the left hander we faced yesterday. So he's slumping. That's not good. Johnson with a base hit to right. Oh, he's going to hustle out a double. Oh, I like the way that looks. Good job for Darren Johnson. Only his fifth double of the year. He's got that 913 on base percentage, though. Okay, we need a big at bat here from Bill Robb. Oh, you saw, oh, it's an infield single, right? Yeah, an infield single for Bill Robb. And it's first and third. Oh, man, Tommy Agee. He's one for 12. Um, one for 12 with two walks. Uh, he does hit lefties well, but he you knows a strikeout waiting to happen. Yep, damn it. He pops it up. Man, we are just not going to get a run today, guys. And Joey Pep. Strand two. Headed to the top of the seventh inning. Ronnie Locke coming out to face a couple more lefties here. Jim Lytle. Popping it up. Near home plate. Play made by the third baseman, actually. Okay. Mike Andrews. Dumping it into left field. It will be caught on the run by Pepitone. Only six hits between the two teams. As Frank Baker comes up. Hits a ground ball to third. Moving on to the bottom of the seventh. Al Downing at 81 pitches. Here's Rich Rawl. Oh, he's waiting on that curveball. That is a 11 pitch at bat that Rollins wins. Good job by him. Just can't get any clutch hitting, though. Let's try the hit and run with Manny Sanguian. Oh, you got to get down. Nope. All right. Lock coming out of the ball game for Jesus Alou. Also a good hit and run hitter, but he's batting 071 uh, versus lefties. Give us something here, Lou. Oh, God. Ground ball to third. He does get Rollins over. 
Jerry Devanin might be our last hope today. It's the seventh inning, but I've already kind of given up. He strikes out. Shoot. Well, this is a good game, and I don't feel like it's being altered in any way. So you got to give credit where credit is due. Well, we're going to bring in Miggy. Some Miggy magic time with the Dirty Fuentes. This guy's been up for 11 games. He's got two nicknames already. Miggy Magic and uh, Dirty Fuentes. All right. The pitcher downing. Take him out. That's right. One out. You know what? We're going right to the Riddle Burger. How do you like your burgers? Riddled with mad cow disease. That's why he is... Nicknamed the Mad Cow. Jerry Kenny. Ground ball to second. Sutherland. Out number two. And Ron Blumberg. The fly out to right. Moving on. Uh, no, the eighth inning. Gary Sutherland, I'm losing faith in you, buddy. There's the in game stats. He is 0 for his last 8, at least, versus lefties. Oh, get down. There we go. Boom shakalaka. That's a hit for Sutherland. Runner on first. Darren Johnson. Oh, nuts. That's a double play. Man, we got nothing today. Phil Robinson walks. AG, 0 for 3, runner on first, full count, base first up. Moving on to the ninth inning. <clears throat> we got three lefties coming up after Munson. I guess we have to let Riddleberger pitch. Yeah. He teed it up for him. As Munson gets a base hit into center. Here's Soleda, 3-2 count. Striking out on that side on curve. Let's get a double play. 1-1 one, one count. There we go. That ought to be a 2. Yep. Great job. Horace Clark is going to come in and play second. Great job by the game actually bringing in a defensive replacement. Yeah, that's... That's a good job. Okay, now Downing is at 125 pitches. Joey Pepple will lead it off. He's 0 for 3 versus lefties today. And he gets a base hit. Downing is now tired. Oh, we got the hit and run boys coming up. Come on, we got to get a run here. Downing is on the verge of getting his third shutout of the season. Yeah, there we go. Pepitone will go to third. Okay. Hit and run. Sagan has a chance here to be a hero. Oh, one count. Yeah, there we go. Tying up the ball game at one, and there's nobody out. We got the winning run at third. Riddleberger will be pinch hit for by Aurelio Rodriguez. He's not been good at the plate. We will go on contact. Let's go. Full count. Oh, you son of a bitch. Damn it. Okay. No on contact. Betting 438 versus lefties. He's over 3 today with a walk, though. Here we go. Oh. That sucks. A pass ball on Thurman Munson, and the pilots win 2 to 1. That is unfortunate.
handshakes, butt slaps, sloppy steaks. How many times have we come from behind? Uh, not very many, if at all. We'll take the victory, though. Pilots win 2-1. to one. We'll take a look at the standings. Hey, we're five and a half back. <laughs> we are not out of it yet. <coughs> um, so we can feel good about where we're at at this point, I think. It's going to be a tough and tight division. Um, and we are not the worst team in the American League now. It's Cleveland and Detroit below us. And Montreal tied with St. Louis in the east. Houston, one and a half, up on the Dodgers, have won six in a row. We'll take a look at headline news. Maraniac baseball. Angels beat the Orioles. All right. Oh, that's it. Okay. Trans um, we've got another free agent signing. Terry McDermott, 19-year-old, uh, undrafted player from last year, signs with Oaktown. I mean, good power, good contact. Can play first, but not well. Okay. And then we have uh, Veda Pinson with a personal record. He scored his 1,000th run. In fact, he's got 1,002. Good job by Veda Pinson. Okay, let's pull up the box score and get out of here. Thanks for watching, guys. Pilots win 2-1. to one. Not very exciting. It was almost exciting, actually, the way we uh, rallied there in the, in the bottom of the ninth inning, but to win on a pass ball. It's just a, another uh, debit for this game, in my opinion. Now, John Geldar pitched great. Um, I'm going to give him the player of the game. Rich Rollins had three hits. He scored the run that won the ball game for us. But um, <laughs> <coughs> My bad. Uh, but Geldar, uh, I, I believe, deserves the player of the game. Uh, Riddleberger gets the vulture win. Uh, he's 2-1 and one on the season. Okay, Al Dowding takes the loss. That's unfortunate. He is now 7-6 and six on the year. Okay, we're going to come back tomorrow, play the final game of May. We're going to have a winning month. That's a good sign. And then after, that, after the game is over, in a separate video, we will have a uh, standings and league leaders video in which we take a look at the draft uh, for the 1970 season. So stay tuned for that. Until then, everyone, have a great day.